this has been five plus years in the making, finally arrives us here. <laughs> from Lake Tahoe. Today's video is going to be all about how we shoot and edit our photos. We are going to show you the equipment we use, the tips and tricks that we've gathered over the past five plus years of doing this for a living. And then we're going to show you our editing system, which we came up with, well, Zach came up with, and how we edit our photos to be consistent and beautiful. I'm literally going to take you along with me as I get a photo for my Instagram feed and show you what that really looks like behind the scenes. If you've ever wondered how we capture our Instagram photos, then you should find this video to be interesting. So this video is going to be kind of an inside look into the creative aspect of what we do, but I do not do this alone. I am going to ask, get in here, Zach, to be a part of this video because he's such a big part of oh, you know. this topic. So in case you don't know who we are, I'm Helen, this is my boyfriend, Zach. We are traveling creatives. We create content for a living. We wanna show you guys <laughs> our process, how we edit, how we've taken a skill set like photography and videography and content creation in general and turn that into a dream lifestyle. A business and a and dream a, lifestyle. Business, exactly. We're gonna take you along today for or a little behind the scenes on how we get an Instagram shot for this lovely lady. Hopefully this gives you some insight into how we work. I 100% believe that if you have the skills and the ability to create beautiful content, but not only that, to tell a story with it, you'll have dream opportunities just because of your ability to capture moments. So today's world is so visual. And you know, five years ago, I wasn't even into photography, but I picked up a camera. I knew that we wanted to travel the world with amazing experiences and I knew one way to get there was through learning photography and learning how to shoot content. Anyone can start from zero. If you have the right tools and you have the right kind of mindset, you can do anything you want to achieve. And just to give a little backstory, I studied design at UCLA. I've been creative my whole life, but I really kind of pigeonholed myself into thinking I'd be working a nine to five job, really wasn't thinking outside the box at all. But as I was introduced to social media and began to create content, not that it was super curated content at that point, but I started to see the potential for more. And as I learned and got to work with brands, I basically just went with it and grew so much and learned so much. And it brought me to where I am now, not working a nine to five, working for myself, working very hard. Don't be deceived by the beauty of it because yes it's beautiful but it is hard work that's just a little intro to who we are and if you have any interest in this topic i'm sure you'll find this video to be very interesting you'll probably be surprised at some of the tips and tricks we're gonna give we're just gonna take yeah. you along with us on our instagram shoot so let's go let's do it so I know the first thing that everyone's gonna wanna know is what camera equipment was used. Zach is going to give you a little tour of our camera equipment. The most important thing I want you guys to understand is that camera gear doesn't really matter. That's the secret. We'll get more into that in a second. We wanna show you guys what we shoot with because it is fun to check out other people's gear. The main thing that Hella shoots on is the Sony A6600. This is a camera that I recommend for people that wanna get into content creation just because it's so versatile and it's such an easy camera to use, to edit with, and does everything that you need to start out. This is the X-T3, it's a great hybrid video and photo. This is my Fujifilm, kind of like take it anywhere, everywhere. It has a really good sensor inside here, so you can get really cool photos, and it's so small and compact. If you're doing any sort of content creation, the drone I think is a must-have equipment piece in your bag. This is the Mavic Pro 2, you can get a smaller one, I think it's called the Air. This one just has probably the best camera. Now film is something that we shoot, but we don't really post on Instagram. This is a medium format Hasselblad 120 millimeter film. And this is our little point shoot 35 millimeter film, waterproof. We forgot one thing, but our phones. Oh yeah, you don't need really anything else but your phone guys. If you have a smartphone these days, the new iPhone is insane. It takes amazing quality photos and video. If you have a phone like this, you can pretty much create amazing content. If you wanna start somewhere, start here and work your way up. There's tons of very affordable options. That's all you need to get started. So the reason why we say camera gear is not as important as you may think is really because as long as your camera has the ability to shoot raw, shooting raw is basically a way for 
the camera to just collect as much data as possible into one image. One great analogy that Zach filled me in on recently is shooting raw, you can compare to baking a cake. If you shoot raw, then you are gathering all the ingredients that you could possibly need to make any type of cake all the ingredients are there. If you shoot JPEG, you are buying a store-bought cake. The cake flavor has already been selected, and the most that you could possibly do is just add a little frosting on top, but it's not your cake. Basically, you just want all of the possible data that the file can have that you can then manipulate and post. I don't know if this sounds intimidating or geeky or whatever, but it's the easiest thing ever just to shoot in RAW. All it is is a press of a button on your camera. You just go into your camera settings, and then you select your shooting option. We like to shoot in fine and raw, which just means we're shooting both JPEGs and raw files, which just gives us as many options as possible. A big part of today's lesson on how we shoot is gonna be utilizing software called Lightroom from Adobe. Not many people know this, but you can shoot raw within the Lightroom app. So at the top of this, you can see DNG. DNG is selected. That's a raw format. See, this is JPEG, that's not raw. Now, when you flip it to DNG, that is raw. These images that you're gonna be shooting are raw images. So I'm going to be taking an Instagram photo, just working with what we've got, which today is a very, very snowy day. My vision for the photo is gonna be cozy indoor with also being able to see the snow outside. When looking at a room like this, obviously lighting is the most important thing. If we were to take this direction, so that would be considered backlit, meaning it might be harder to expose properly for Helen here in the shadow and the background as well. So there's a lot of light coming here, but also it seems like it might be able to be enough lighting here on her front from this source and enough light in the back to where you can get both exposed properly. We're gonna shoot on the little camera, then we're also going to shoot on the iPhone. This is the scene. We're working with a few things. Always look at the lighting. If you are shooting with a light source behind you, that tends to be much harder to end up with a beautifully lit photo. If you're shooting raw, you still have the option to manipulate the light. We kind of have no choice in this situation, so we're just gonna hope that, this is like the situation where it does help to have a nice camera or honestly, an iPhone too. If you feel awkward when you're posing, posing would be a whole nother video that I could do, but just remember that everyone feels awkward at some point in front of a camera, so smile through it. My tip is just to get a variety of poses and ask your photographer to take a bunch of them and then review before you take too many and then adjust accordingly and continue. We're gonna do one quick test, just a test shot to see how this is gonna look with this lighting. I'm getting more on her level. I'm not shooting like this. Although if that's the look you're going for, that's okay too. Usually you wanna kind of get eye level. Okay, so now I'm gonna check these out. See if I like how I look. See if I like the scene. Review, scene, see how you look. Go from there. part where the magic happens. All the magic happens right here. We want to talk about not only editing in general, but our specific editing process. This has been five plus years in the making as we've traveled the world, taken photos in so many different settings, and Zach has fine-tuned all of the technicalities of editing, whether it be color science, to lighting, to all these different things that I don't even understand that he's been working on for so long. Finally arrives us here with an editing system that we feel is the best possible way to edit any given photo. Really, in the past year or so, I've dove real deep into learning how to make a system that will be the easiest, most versatile, and the most fun to use. The edit is what digital photography is all about. That's all that matters. So I have these two film stocks. This was your preset back in the day. So you would shoot, whatever you got out of this was basically the coloring, the look you got. Now with digital photography, you have complete control when you shoot a raw photo and then when you have all the controls to edit. Editing, guys, is really, really difficult, which is why I have spent so much time perfecting this system. That way it makes our life easier and makes your life easier. It's a system that we created for ourselves that we now think is so good that we are so excited to announce 
we are going to be releasing it for anyone to use. So we're really excited about it just because Super pumped. <laughs> Zach's been working so hard that his eyesight is My eyesight's suffering, guys. slowly diminishing. Our system, which we are about to show you, how we use it, how we edit a photo that is now available. These aren't your average presets. They're much more special and they work way better. I'll leave all the info to go check them out in the description box of this video. So just go check it out, but we're gonna show you exactly what it looks like right now. Let's dive in. First step, you're gonna open Bridge. This just makes your editing process faster. You can star them, rate them really fast, and then only take the ones that you really want and put those into Lightroom. But I've narrowed it down to five. We have our images in Lightroom. We're gonna go ahead and start the editing process. On the left-hand side, you can see the first collection that we're re releasing of our presets, which are more like Pro Sets, which is a preset combined with my custom profiles. The profiles are what have taken the longest to figure out I wanted to make the easiest, most flexible, most beautiful presets you could possibly use. What I'm gonna do is make a tiny adjustment on the brightness and then go ahead and just start scrolling through them and see which ones I think look good. I'm gonna go through the different options. They all are looking really good. Each one of these is a, its own unique tool meant for a specific look. They work hand in hand with light and exposure and then the intensity of the profile or the pro set as we call them. That's how you kind of get your fine-tuned image. Helen's gonna walk you through an edit here, a quick edit. She's already found one she loves. Yep. She's using Art 01, is it? Yep, Art 01. So she's just, again, adjusting exposure to her liking, which is the brightness of the image, checking the warmth, because if you think it's too warm, you can bring it down a little bit on the white balance. And then the third thing you check is the intensity. So why don't you show them the intensity? This right here, is what makes these Pro Sets different than presets. With a preset, the settings are predetermined. You have to go in and change them if you want to make any adjustments. With this, you're able to adjust the native intensity of the entire filter over your image, just like you would in Viesco or any other editing app on your phone within Lightroom. This is something that Zach has figured out. It's unheard of, no one else is doing this. And this is what has made our lives so much easier with editing all of our Instagram photos over the past year, few years, well, year or so that he's figured it out. Yeah. If you've ever used a preset, there's no way to change how intense the look is. Maybe you get the, the preset to where you like it, but you just wanted a little less intense. You can't do that. With these, I've built them in such a way, and there's a lot going on behind the scenes in terms of color science and math and luminosity and stuff you don't need to know about, but it took me a long time to figure out how to build these in a way that they work consistently on a variety of different images, and that was the goal. This image looks beautiful. It did actually bring back some of the highlights, which I'm surprised by. I didn't think that there was any any uh, saving those, but still, it looks kind of cool. It looks like a snowy winter wonderland back there. You can see the tree outlines. Her skin tones are beautiful. The overall vibe, it looks very filmic. It looks very alive. It's really, it's really good. a beautiful edit, and it took- That was two seconds. Guys, okay. yeah, maybe 20. So that's all I really need to do for this one. I'm gonna move on to the next one. If you have two similar images, you can copy and paste over because this one's a little darker of an image. I'm just gonna start from scratch. So I like to just bring it up because it gives me a better idea of how each one looks. And I'm gonna scroll through them. If you are hovering over and you're like, I don't really like that. Well, don't give up on it yet. Just adjust the lighting and adjust the intensity. And I'm almost positive that you're gonna get to an image that you think is great. Yeah, so I thought actually a different pro set looked better on this one, which is interesting because it's a similar image, but just to test out a different vibe. So I have Moody 3 on here. It's kind of more of like a pinky tone That's vibe. Good. I like it. And it's really crazy how I just, I mean, I didn't do anything. I just yep. chose that and it didn't need much else. So That's simple, guys. I've got these two so far. They're different vibes. We're just getting all of our options. But this is the part about these that editing becomes so much more fun when you know that you have presets or profiles or pro sets that we're creating that look good. You just know they're gonna look good, so you are excited to go out and take photos because half the battle when we first started was spending hours editing and then having this terrible looking photo at the end of it. You're just like, man, this is so difficult. Mm -hmm. So when you have great tools like these, it just makes your life so much better. This one looks so nice. Look it at that. Good. Oh that my looks gosh. Amazing. And the last thing we want to say, which makes these even more flexible, say Helen's like, I really don't like the blues as much in this image. So she has the ability to go out, go down, scroll down to the bottom. And so if you want 
you know, less blue in the sky over there, you can do that. So okay. you have flexibility. See how that changes? The, the trees are reading as blue, so this is gonna change the saturation on the blues. At the end of the day, these are a tool to get you 95% of the way there. And if you wanna go that extra five and do something creative with it, go for it. Okay. Looks good, let's do before and after. Looks great. So everything's taken care of, the coloring, the contrasting, the lighting, the evening out of everything. It's just all taken care of in that one click and a few adjustments. So we took a few photos outside. I think this is gonna show a nice variety of how these pro sets work on different lighting scenarios. So there's so many different moods and it's really up to your personal style and what you think looks the best. There's so many possibilities within each image. So like, let's say I wanted to see how this one would look. Right now it doesn't look too good, it's a little too dark, but if I just bring up the exposure, it's a brand new image. It brings it out and then you could even try maybe doing the intensity, see what it does, go all the way down. And then now start bringing it up. And you're seeing what it's doing, it's bringing the image to life. Slowly coming to life. And so you can go past 100 if you want it more intense. Like this is an outdoor photo and you, sometimes outdoor photos look kind of cooler when it's a little more intense. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I like the vibe. Let's do before and after. Before, after, oh, before, after. And then the last one, it's a little overexposed. So with portraits, one thing to note is that the intensity slider is your friend here because you can dial it down to make it a little more soft, a little more subtle instead of, you know, as intense on the skin tones in the face. So I always like to kind of just bring it down just a smidge, bring up the exposure a little bit and just kind of see where that leaves the overall image and skin tone. So just with a few clicks, it went from being so overexposed to just beautifully balanced. So you have three or four different looks, all edited very quickly. You saw mm -hmm. it, seconds if that. Um, and once you get used to these and how they work and you start to find your favorites, you can just start blazing through edits. That's it. You guys, hope you enjoyed seeing how she shoots, how we shoot together. It's available for all of you to go purchase if you want a tool like this. Go check out the link in the description, see what they're all about. If you have any questions, Zach and I would be happy to answer. I'm gonna get my gram up now. <laughs> get that post up. That's the last step. Okay, so got the edits onto my phone, and now I'm gonna post them to Instagram. I'm gonna go with that one, to that one. Now, I'm gonna hit this button right here. Doop. And that, my friends, was a day of shooting an Instagram photo. Once again, please check out Flow, which is our editing system, which is available now. Link will be in the description. Thank you for watching. <laughs> my brain hurts. <laughs>